In the day's other news, high winds fueled new fire dangers and new power blackouts in California. Stephanie Sai has our report. The winds across Northern California are picking up, and with them, fears that the fires will only get worse. Sonoma County Sheriff Mark Essick told evacuees today not to go home yet. With the winds, uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about repopulation, how people can get back to their homes. There's a lot of anxiety and anxiousness there. Communities across Northern California are also facing more blackouts. The new high wind advisory prompted Pacific Gas and Electric to begin cutting off power for the fourth time this month. It's aimed at preventing down lines from sparking new fires, but the frequency of the widespread outages are adding to frayed nerves and frustrations. More than one and a half million people are affected, on top of two and a half million who lost power over the weekend. Then there are the many people living in evacuation shelters, anxiously waiting for the all clear. It's quite frustrating. Uh, I mean, all the resources and everything that's going on is great, but it's, it's very frustrating not knowing. And to the south, in Los Angeles, daylight revealed damaged homes and scorched hillsides from a fire near the famed Getty Arts Complex. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti warned that smoke clearing does not mean the area is completely safe. Sure, we all have gotten phone calls and had conversations of people saying, well, there's not a lot of smoke, it should be fine to go home. I want to continue to tell people, listen to the professionals and the firefighters who are asking you to stay away and mandating that you stay away. Wind speeds are expected to peak with gusts up to 80 miles per hour overnight on both ends of California. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Stephanie Sy.